Hello there. Right on time again, I see. Very punctual. I like that. Ah, uh, my outfit. Thank you. I picked it out specifically for this date. The question is, do you like it? Or did you only compliment me because I asked you to yesterday? No need to answer seriously. I'm only joking with you, of course. The fact that you remembered what I said is already making my heart flutter. By the way, you look very handsome. You looked even better yesterday. But given the circumstances of this being our first date, I'll forget that for now. I wouldn't want you being embarrassed the entire day or anything. Is that why I brought it up? To keep you embarrassed during our date? How mean. Do you really see me as someone that cruel? Of course I wouldn't go and embarrass you just so I can see your cheeks flushed all day. Don't be ridiculous. Come on now. It's still early. We have a lot more dating to do. My original plan was to go out for coffee. But I've been hearing bad things about my favorite shop recently. Oh, just some weird stories is all. Something about a girl waiting outside there every day. People are starting to think she's a ghost or something. There's also that male employee that went missing. Not that I believe it, of course. If I don't believe it, then why don't we just go there, you ask? Are you implying that I'm scared? Don't be silly. It's not as if I have a nightlight in my room or anything when I wake up at night. Besides, I had something better in mind. Something more suited for an artist like yourself. I take it you brought your sketchbook and tools? <laughs> Good boy. I knew I could count on you. What? You don't like being called a good boy? Surely you do. Everyone enjoys being praised. Or is it that you do actually like it, but just don't want to admit it? If that's the case, then I'll call you Sundere-kun instead. Is that more fitting for you? No? Then perhaps you were being honest, and you prefer being called a bad boy then? I didn't take you for that type, but I can't say I'm opposed to it. I apologize. You're just so fun to play with. Don't be angry with me, Sundere-kun. As I was saying, I thought of something more fitting for us, rather than a boring old coffee shop. While we are dating now, I still have a promise to keep of improving your art. I think yesterday proved successful in practicing human anatomy. Today I thought it would be good to sketch inanimate objects, and perhaps some scenery. Of course this is still a date. I plan on learning plenty about you today, as well as seeing you draw. Seeing as that you're my partner now, I want to see you succeed in what you're interested in. There you go blushing again. What is it this time? What a silly question. Of course you're my boyfriend. I said I took a liking to you, didn't I? Or are you saying you're already taken? Good. I was hoping that wasn't the case. 
I'd hate to have to chain you up in my art studio if I found out you were cheating on me. Ah, but I'm not the right type of dede for that, am I? No need to look so scared. As usual, I'm only joking. I would never chain you up without your consent. And I certainly wouldn't sneak up on you and knock you out during a random point in the day when you least expected it. Anyway, we're getting off track. Today we're going to spend some time in this park, drawing the things that we see. I'd love for you to work on perspective drawing today. Let's head over to that park bench and take a seat. This is a great spot. We can see various places of the park sitting here, and it's far enough away to where other people can't hear. Hmm? Why does it matter if people hear? How else am I going to know all the bad things you're into? Bing bong. Right again. I'm joking. The truth is that I just enjoy the quiet. I'm sure you can relate to that, right? Or are you someone who prefers the sound of a crowd while you work? I see. Well, today I plan for it to only be the two of us. Now, do you see that building over there? I'd like to see your version of that. Don't worry, there's no right or wrong way. Well, there is a right way, but that comes after. For now, take some time to sketch that building as you see it. Let's see what you did. Hmm. Very nice. I see a lot of good details in this. Come on, Sundere Goon. I'm not gonna bite. You want to get better with your art, don't you? Have I been mean during any of my critiques so far? Ah. Uh, I suppose I am leaning in rather close to you. It's not as if I did that on purpose or anything. I simply wanted to see your sketch. I smell good. 
What a cute thing to say. Tell me, what do I smell like? You don't know how to describe it. Hmm. Well, let me get a good smell of you, and maybe I can help you use your words more properly. <laughs> Let's see. I'm getting hints of nervousness, shyness, <laughs> and is that... What is it? You don't like me describing how you smell? It's not as if I said you smelled bad. In fact, you smell quite nice. Alright, enough flirting. Let's go over this sketch of yours. Are you familiar with Vanishing Point? I can see that you've got a good understanding of the building's structure. But when you look here, it seems a bit off, doesn't it? When you're drawing an object like a building, it's not the same as when you draw a person, for example. When you work with straight lines like this, it's important to know where your horizon and vanishing points are. Here, I'll give you an example. Do you see this spot I've made here? All of my lines need to meet at this point in my sketch to create perspective. Let me see your hand. I'll guide you along so you understand what I'm talking about. Do you see now? Very good. Is there a reason you're still holding on to my hand? <laughs> oh no. What will you possibly do knowing that you've held my hand? You didn't have to pull away. Come on now. It's not that bad, is it? Let me see it again. Oh, not for showing you how to draw or anything. This time just for holding. I liked how it felt resting in mine. How about we walk over to the other side of the park to give us a different view? Hmm. Of course still holding hands. We are a couple after all. 
Besides, what would I do if I happened to fall into that lake? If I'm holding hands with you, at least you'll fall in with me. Now that we're on this side, take a look at where we were a moment ago. I'd like you to sketch that scenery with all the things you've learned so far. You want me to stand by the lake. I see. So you'd like a model for this one. Very well. But just know that now you're giving me more to critique. Let's see what you've come up with. <laughs> this is very beautiful. If it's all right with you, I'd love to keep this one for myself. Would that be all right? Hmm? Oh, my critique. To be honest, there's nothing more I can teach you. This piece is perfect in every way. No, I'm not joking, actually. It's a drawing you did with me in mind, and that makes it perfect. I can tell you really enjoyed yourself and have been learning. Not only did you use your vanishing point correctly, but your background doesn't overtake your subject. And this time, I'm drawn more accurate to my real self. So, would it be alright if I took this one off your hands? I'll pay you, of course. Oh? You don't want a payment? You don't want to make me an art thief, do you? Here, at least let me pay you in another way. Come closer. Thanks for coming out on a date with me. <laughs> <laughs> 